Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at applying a shadow to some text on our page. We're going to be using the text shadow property to do this and we're going to be using it in such a way that we can reuse the text shadow across any area of our website. So the way we're going to do that is by um, using a class which we can apply to any element on the page. In this case I've applied the text shadow to the headline um, or, or what we'll see later as an h1 element um, and I've used the text shadow in a way that gives the, the text a bit of a 3D effect, just emphasizing it and making it stand out from the rest of the page. So let's look into the code for um, applying a text shadow. This is what we'll need initially, which is the basic sort of HTML5 template, um, which we'll need for any of our features for a website, really any of our pages. So the first thing you'll notice is a doc type of HTML, which basically tells the web browser that we're going to be using HTML5. Um, we then have an HTML element which is used to wrap all of our um, HTML structure in. And we have a head which is where we put the title of the page, in this case text shadow, and a link to our style sheet which you can see here. Um, and the href is the path to the style sheet so you can see that the style sheet is in the same directory as our um, HTML file is. So let's start writing some um, HTML to get the uh, structure on the page. The first thing we'll want is a div which is just going to hold our, um, our headline which we saw earlier. Um, and so let's just create a div and give it a class of container. Um, and I'm going to target the container class in my CSS just to um, give a bit of formatting to the code um, and the output. Next thing we're going to need is an h1, which is going to be used as um, the the title element itself. So h1 and the text inside this is going to be dark, the dark knight, as you saw earlier. Um, and then the final thing we'll need in terms of HTML is a span tag um, with a class of shadow. And the span is actually what we're going to target in the CSS to use the text shadow property. And the reason we want a span like that, as I said, as I touched on earlier, is so that um, wherever we want the text shadow applied on our page, all we have to do is wrap the text in a span with class shadow and that will be applied. So if, for example, I was to take night out of this span tag and put it here, then the shadow would not be applied to night, it would be applied to the dark only. But we'll see an example of that later. So I'll save that um, and s see what the output is on the page. At the moment it's just very basic, we've got the text and that's that's it. So now let's apply the text shadow. So I go back to my style sheet. The first thing I'll do is format the body of the page um, just by giving a background color of hash 444, which is quite a dark gray. Remove any margin from the page. Um, I'll then target the div that I talked about earlier and give it a bit of padding just to get the, the title standing out from the edges of the page, um, getting it a bit more um, focused on the middle of the page. And then I'm going to target the H1 and give that some formatting as well. So I'm going to give a font size of 5EM, um, which is just a, another measurement for, for text other than pixels. Um, and EM is relative to the the pixel size um, that's preset, which by default is 16. So 5 EM is 5 times 16, which is going to be 80 pixels. Um, let's give it a font of Georgia, which is the one that I was using um, to demonstrate the text shadow earlier on. And we'll give it a color, a white color. So hash FFF is basically white. And then now we'll move on to actually applying the shadow. So I'll target the shadow class. Oops, there we go. I'll target the shadow class by using this selector here. And then let's use the text shadow property. Now the text shadow property takes four arguments, one of which is optional. Um, so I'll go through those step by step. The first argument is the X offset of the shadow. So what this means is the value you give will be the distance from the text that the shadow will um, render in the X direction. So four pixels there will mean we have a shadow that protrudes four pixels in the X um, direction from the, um, the text itself. 
the next one is simply the Y offset. So if I give three pixels there, we're going to have a shadow um, to the right of the text with four pixels and um, going down three pixels. The next property is um, the blur radius. And blur radius is basically a property that tells us how wide and light the um, the shadow is going to be. So if I put this at zero, it's, it's just going to be a solid shadow. But if I was to have 10 pixels there, the shadow would sort of fade out a little bit. Um, but you can play around with that yourself. And then the final thing is a color. So if I apply hash 222, which is a very dark gray, that's a bit of a, um, a darker color. So there we are. That's all the styling we need. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's the text shadow applied. And just the final thing that I'll show is if I was to take night out of that span tag and put it here just inside the H1, save that up and go to the page, you can see that the shadow is only applied to the dark and not to night.